I want to platinum every South Park game because I keep hearing about how hilariously fun they are. So today I'm playing The Stick of Truth. This game released 10 years ago and still holds up really well. But as you'll see, I was not ready for some of the trophies, including all of the missables, which is basically everything, or the hilarious story missions and all the fart related trophies. Yeah, we'll get to those. For now, I created my character. And since I'm the new kid in South Park, of course, I went outside looking to make some new friends. I just punched <laughs> I live right next door to you. We should be friends. Oh, I made my first friend. Let's go, Butters. Who's your new friend, Eric? Shut up, Mom. Not now. <laughs> he said, shut up, Mom. Not now. <laughs> Don't talk to her. She's not part of the game. How have I never played this game before? So my new friend Butters takes me to Koopa Keep, aka Cartman's Backyard, where I learn about the Stick of Truth. This is where I'm able to get my first trophy acceptance when Cartman asks me for my name. You entered douchebag. Is that correct? <laughs> I did not enter douchebag. Are you sure you <laughs> Am I sure? Sure. Very well, douchebag. You will now choose a class. <laughs> Acceptance. Next up, I chose my class. You know, the usual standard classes, except this one. And I actually have to choose Jew because of the RE Cool trophy later. Jew from New Jersey. So you're basically Cow's mom, too. I am from New Jersey. I actually have to choose Jew for some trophies, but I am from New Jersey. This game is already hilarious, but it gets better in this tutorial fight. I can earn the trophy made this for you for throwing turd at my enemies. Yep, you heard that right. You might be wondering why douchebag here has turd on him. Well, that's because 10 minutes ago, as soon as the game started, I went over to the bathroom, took care of business and picked up a nugget just so I can be ready for this moment here. I can throw this turd at my enemies. Let's do it. <laughs> made this for you he's grossed out and after all that in typical video game fashion i looted everything i even found my first chin pokemon here that was one out of 30 to collect for a few trophies later and they're easily missable too so i'll have to be careful so now while i walk around south park i get into random fights with the elves there are swarm enemies in this game and they stole the stick of truth during the fight at koopa keep earlier anyways i walked around collecting more chin pokemon adding new friends on facebook something else i need to keep track of for some more trophies and doing random side quests like this one here where i fought these idiot bullies to steal back a justin bieber toy doing quests like this around town is how i'll get a lot of the friend requests done damn bro this hammer looks like it hurts imagine smacking somebody in your neighborhood with a hammer you should be locked up oh i hope he didn't break it <laughs> that Justin Bieber toy is fine. I also got my next trophy for five Chint Pokemon just a few minutes later. And from there, I'll get to show you why I chose Ju as my class earlier. You see, for this trophy, are we cool? I have to find Jesus while playing as a Jew. For some reason, he's hiding from me, but obviously I found him in the church for a sweet trophy. Since this is South Park, we go from looking for Jesus to fighting meth heads while dressed as Heisenberg. Yes, that Heisenberg. And it's for the appropriately named Heisenberg trophy, which is why I had to wear this evil Cartman goatee and a bald cap. Since they're meth heads, they're not really capable of fighting back right now or really anything. So this trophy was easy. Naturally, after fighting some meth heads, we visit City Walk and this area is hilarious. It's not tasty at all. It's gross. Don't eat it. It's gross. You eat a beef, you shit your pants for five days. Clearly, he wasn't too happy with the Mongols and asked me, the new kid, by the way, to fix it by fighting them next door. For the boss fight, I used a new bow that I just got, which is actually really strong. And that makes sense because, you know, Mongols. Okay, this bow is fantastic. Wow. One more. The Mongols are out of town, baby. You should give me a trophy for this, right? Okay, maybe not. I have to say this game is definitely hilarious and feels like a real South Park episode. And I didn't know it, but I was about to earn these next two trophies randomly while fighting. The first one was for blocking 100 attacks. Oh, I just got a trophy for blocking 100 attacks. Nice. And then a few minutes later, the shutout trophy was mine for blocking all attacks in one fight. Oh, there it is. I was waiting for this trophy. I feel like I block successfully all the time, but apparently I don't. But there's the trophy. Got it randomly while fighting rats and then i kept up the shenanigans and was given a huge power up time for me to learn dragon show you must learn to harness the power of your farts of your farts <laughs> farting on an opponent is necessary but farting on someone's files is not cool that's the limit and you know with great power comes great responsibility so i decided to start on the many many fart related trophies which is why for the canadian handshake trophy you see me being absolutely a menace letting it rip on carmen's mom there it is canadian handshake out of all the ridiculous trophies so far that might be the most ridiculous <laughs> perfect for south park now that trophy wasn't missable but this next one called daywalker is missable 
This is where we're attacking the school because we need to break our buddy Craig out of detention so he can help us take back the stick of truth. And we have to fight ginger hall monitors along the way. These guys drop a freckles item, which is exactly what I need for the upcoming boss fight and trophy. Look at this nerd, <laughs> the hallway monitor boss. He's carrying a referral. And it turns out hall monitors are not strong. So this trophy was mine. And this should be the final blow and a trophy. Okay, not the final blow, but this should be the final blow and a trophy. Hey, walk. Defeated the boss while wearing freckles. <laughs> this successful mission was enough to get me upgraded to a new title. And it also comes with a new spell, too, which, you know, is another type of fart. Choose it wisely in battle, just Greg, and never on a minute's boss. Never ever. He keeps saying that. You might have noticed that in combat, not only can I block, but I also have my health, mana, and power points too. These are used for different abilities, which is normal in RPG games like this. And my next trophy was actually for maxing out one of my abilities. This was perfect because the next mission was a big one where us humans are taking on those damn elves who stole the stick. The stay down trophy is one I was doing in the background whenever I had a chance. And I'm glad to say that I got it done here against those damn elves. Now, if you think this game and trophies are weird, you have have no idea what's coming soon and in fact after this mission here i'll be earning three more trophies beginning with a dragon wrath trophy for killing three enemies with one fart this one is cool because it's technically outside of battle and then the boss fight is actually against jimmy who well you know step forward now and fulfill your de de and fulfill your de 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 step forward now and fulfill your de Step forward now and fulfill your day. Now in this boss fight, I had an opportunity and I took it. This is probably a top three weirdest trophy in the game. <laughs> Bro, there's some weird trophies in this game. I ate that Chipotle burrito when my mana was full and we got irritable bowels. Yeah, let's just move on. Jimmy is, well, Jimmy. So he really didn't put up much of a fight. The stick is ours. Yay. Yeah, we got the stick back and we're looting him. We just took his crutch. <laughs> we just took his crutch. That's kind of wild if you think about it. <laughs> and believe it or not, all of that so far was just the first day in South Park before heading back home. <laughs> Look at the description. That's a story trophy. Remember how I said this game is weird? Well, while we're trying to get our beauty sleep, this happened. Yeah, there's just a random alien abduction in the middle of the night. No big deal. I had to get my revenge. Yo, these these aliens, they're, they're a little crazy. I mean, after what they just did in there. Actually, hold on. Now we got our revenge. <laughs> and everything in this area is completely missable. So I made sure to check every corner and it was worth it because of this. Oh God, they're coming. Why am I standing here making an audio log? I don't have time for this. Leave me alone. <laughs> they just made fun of audio logs. They just made fun of pretty much like every open world game ever. So I continued on opening some doors and getting into some fights with aliens and just by chance happened to get this trophy for 100 perfect attacks. You might be wondering how nobody in South Park noticed the aliens. Well, they're about to after this fight is done. Time to get off this ship with my tinfoil hat. And now that was actually the end of the first day in South Park. While the whole town is panicking about this UFO crash, I kept going about my day. I have no words. This game has story trophies. This game has missable trophies and it has a lot of fart related trophies. And one of the new abilities I have thanks to the abduction is the alien probe. This allows me to teleport and collect more chin Pokemon. This is where the story gets wild. I mean, if you didn't think that it was already, I met with our sworn enemies, the elves, and I looted more quest stuff like underwear and open garages. I even fought the she ogre, AKA Stan's sister, who then just proceeds to add me as a friend afterwards. I guess she forgives me, but really the the wild part is this PTA meeting where the parents are being told that the UFO ship is actually a Taco Bell opening up. And because of this new Taco Bell, school is closed. The government takes this Taco Bell seriously because look what happens when you ask too many questions. Clearly this is no joke and nobody believes this is actually a Taco Bell opening up. So I had to get to the bottom of this and it gets wilder because it turns out there are Nazi zombies hidden here and they want us to believe it's just a Taco Bell. So we fought our way back with this new information to the PTA meeting because our only goal was to become friends with the goth kids. And to do that, we needed a picture holding this sign, but this wasn't enough to prove I was goth yet. I had to also show them I could smoke like them. He said less enthusiasm and I'm playing this little Guitar Hero game. Oh, it's not Guitar Hero. We're smoking. I didn't even notice. Just tell us where you need us and we'll be there. 
Nonconformist. We made friends with the goth kids. <laughs> and a lot of friend requests too. We're making good progress for that trophy. My ability to make friends with anybody is truly a gift, and that's why I deserved another promotion. With more friends by my side, it was time to attack the school again. Now, throughout the game, there's a couple trophies I've been keeping in mind, like the Hoarder Trophy for never selling anything and No Child Left Behind for never finishing a battle with my buddy knocked out. These two are an example of how easy it can be to miss a trophy and then have to play the entire game all over again. And this area here is where I get another missable trophy for letting zombie gingers bite me in battle. Things get really serious in the school between us humans and the elves, and it leads up to this boss fight against Stan. Oh. We just got into a fight with Stan and Sparky. Ah, uh, poor Sparky getting caught in the crossfire. Don't get me wrong. We're not holding back. Oh, he got mad. Jeez, that was like six attacks. Good old circumcise. <laughs> that attack is so funny. Block it, block it, block it. Wait. Okay, I did a much better job that time. One more sling of David. Good old sling of David. And we win okay easy and we leveled up and i'm looting him even though he's not dead at this point the game makes me choose between kyle and cartman and they both give you a trophy so this is missable so i have to pick a side for a trophy here we're gonna we're gonna hit kyle there's only one grand wizard of the kkk oh wait 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 wait, wait. <laughs> it's so weird elven hero look at the trophy icon too i love it before moving on i just reloaded my save in order to fight kyle this time oh is this the end of the fight <laughs> it is the end of the fight i am not saying that turns out this fighting didn't even matter because during this commotion clyde stole the stick of truth and took over the world in his new fortress and that pretty much ends day two before heading to bed to end the day i got this collectible trophy completed for opening all garages you didn't think the day was actually over right nope at night the gnomes came out to terrorize me except they couldn't do that at first these gnomes were actually perfect for another missable trophy cleverly called rebuttal they love to do this attack where they channel energy for one turn and then attack on the next but not if i interrupt them with my magic afterwards i was still tiny and had to crawl through the walls until i came to the most traumatizing trophy in the game i can't believe this is a trophy right now i can't believe this is a trophy right now what are we doing here and we i've been here forever too where's this trophy i can't believe we're doing this right now there it is <laughs> oh my goodness bro i'm not even gonna press the button that right there is the face of somebody who has seen way too much look at him <laughs> he has seen way too much i try to confront my dad here and i swear i was not ready for this trophy and that was funny because your own dad doesn't add you as a friend until you have enough friends to be cool enough for him this is also the reason for my next mission he is really good at getting facebook friends i'll give him that <laughs> I'm good at making facebook friends and we got a new buddy too so since i can make facebook friends i have to go recruit the girls before putting my gift of making facebook friends to work i noticed that i had access to all buddies so it was the perfect time for the just saying hi trophy for this one i basically just needed to cycle through all my buddies and fart on them Sunshine, sparkle, and a <laughs> okay this game is hilarious but they're they're basically just calling me ugly over and over I'm sure. Makeover complete, bro. <laughs> it's like we're living in a South Park episode. And after my fabulous transformation, the girls decided they'll only be my friends if I help them get to the bottom of basically some gossip. So of course they sent me to the abortion clinic. It feels like the game is always trying to one-up themselves at this point because look at this. And then somehow the green goo from the UFO ship earlier ended up in the garbage in the clinic. So we find ourselves with some zombie fetuses. Yeah, that's the thing. And of course there's a fart related trophy for them too. So after escaping the clinic, Clinic, the girls actually then sent me to Canada to translate a letter written in French. And I gotta say, Canada is awesome. Why does he look like that? <laughs> Canadians look different in this game, apparently. Oh, look at Canada. It's retro. Okay, this is cool. This is this is my favorite place. I love Canada. So Canada has a few towns I need to go to, and each leader has something for me to do. Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Shut up. Who the fuck <laughs> are you? Go to Banff and kill the bishop bro we're gonna start a whole civil war in canada apparently i mean i guess we have to i went to kill the bishop but then he proposes a better option circumcythe is absolutely wrecking this bishop and he's done please take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine take dire pig testicles and tell the 
Tell the prince they're his. Okay. And all that trouble was just so I can free the minister of Montreal because he can translate this letter for me. And before leaving, I had a gift for him too, for another trophy. Finally, I was almost done recruiting the girls. Now it's time for the final area of the game, but there were a few things I had to do to prepare. First, I made some friends in some strange places. And then more importantly, I had to prepare for the greatest trophy of all time, face off. And to do this, I got a little bit of plastic surgery done to look just like the legend himself. And if everything went according to plan, beating the game should give me six trophies. But we'll see after storming Clyde's castle. By the way, there's even some missable collectibles here right at the end of the game that I still had to be on the lookout for. And eventually I made it to this room here to stop Craig once and for all. We got ourselves a boss fight, baby. David Hasselhoff versus Craig. <laughs> and some cows and no more cows. He just pulled a shadow clone. Oh, his health went up. Immune to splash damage. You can hold this dreidel, whirling doom. That move is so good. Being a traitor is awesome. You guys are missing out. He said, being a traitor is awesome. You guys should check it out. And then he died. But then we find out there's a bomb inside Mr. Slave and uh, this happens. Who could possibly be able to make themselves tiny and know something about abortions? Oh, hmm. Who could there be? Yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but we end up inside of him looking for a bomb. But also, this is the only chance we have for another missable. All right. So in this fight, the first time I'm going to use a summon in this game, I'm going to summon Mr. Slave while being inside. Yeah, let's just skip ahead a bit to right before the final fight. I actually stopped to put my makeover clothes back on for another trophy later and then went into the zombie chef boss fight. This boss is actually giving me a little bit of trouble. Kick the baby! <laughs> Don't kick the goddamn baby! <laughs> that attack was funny. One more hit and this boss is done and then I think we beat it. He just burned his... Okay. That's how we win. It's we. <laughs> I hereby promote you to king douchebag. Congratulations. We're king. <laughs> Look at my outfit. Friendship is more important to any of us than even the stick of truth. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> You'd sell us all out? But why, Princess Kitty? Because Princess Kitty was born a half orc whose entire village Morgan was wiped Freeman out is by here. <laughs> Morgan Freeman? How come every time something convoluted needs explaining, you show up? Yo, facts. Because every time I show up and explain something, I earn a freckle. Why are we fighting Princess Kenny right now like this? Like, also, this old man is just standing in the background here. Like, are we serious right now? King Douchebag, you remember long ago, I made you swear an oath to never fart on anyone's boss. I am now asking you to break that oath. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's the secret to win this fight. We have to do what we said we'd never do, which is fart on his balls. <laughs> oh, first trophy, face haw. Another one, two girls, one stick. That's for wearing all the makeup clothes. Outpatient, living with dire AIDS. Three trophies, baby. And everybody's getting cured. For the hoarder. Oops. No child left behind. Hilarious trophy name. We defeated Princess Kenny. Thankfully, that all went according to plan, and I got every missable that I needed, which means I can now go earn the Junk Peddler Trophy. W sound effects. I know you guys love this. <laughs> we got our trophy. It's still going. Jeez. Look at the little bar. There's so much. I still needed to collect all the weapons and armor in the game, and most of it was just in all the shops, which made this next trophy pop easily. Make it rain, baby. We're buying up everything for a couple more trophies. With the use of my new abilities, I was able to get the final chin Pokemon too. I was low-key worried about this throughout the game because you can miss a lot of them. There it is, chin Pocalypse. Finally, another collectible done. There's so many missables. There's still a few fight related trophies I needed to clean up too, like Ass of Fire or You Bastards. So I went straight to work because I was so close to this platinum. If I didn't miss any armor or weapons, that is. During this grind, I realized I still needed the Dog Whistle trophy too. I go small and then trophy, trophy. There we go, Dog Whistle, which is kind of cruel, but you know, it's, it's kind of on brand with the trophies in this game. <laughs> While working on letting Kenny die 10 times in battle, sucks for him, by the way, I got Avenger to pop after killing three enemies while he was dead. Avenger, that was probably the easiest trophy I've gotten so far post game. I need to do nine more of those for Kenny. 
so poor kenny and just a few minutes later i finished cartman's grind too i still had the pulling mud trophy to finish which if you remember i just had to overeat mana potions in battle for this to happen oh there it is you know i wasn't even paying attention i was looking at youtube stuff i missed the trophy pop you bastards apparently this next clip was supposed to be my last trophy but as you see i'm still missing two other trophies but first let's get all friends in the game praise be to say your new dread master what? but i got a bunch of friends more popular than john lennon they look so cheery you would have never thought all right so i should have had the platinum right now but i'm missing one outfit apparently this is not missable so i should be able to get it i'm really hoping guys i don't want to play the whole game over again for one trophy i'm at nine hours and 43 minutes played and it's really not that bad but to replay the whole game that'd be bad all right so apparently that chest back there is where i'm gonna get my last two trophies oh thank goodness <laughs> we got it full arsenal and south park the stick of truth trademark platinum trophy baby i hope you guys enjoyed because i definitely enjoyed this game look at david hasselhoff and look look at the weapon i'm holding you know what? maybe don't look at the weapon i'm holding i hope you guys enjoyed